Good evening. I'm Karen Lee, and I'm here tonight with Gary Morris. Gary, thanks so much for getting us some time with you. Oh, my, my pleasure, Karen. We just saw Gary's show tonight uh, at the Maryland Theater, and it's absolutely a breathtaking experience. I'll tell you what. It was Gary, his pick, his microphone, and his guitar. And, Gary, the first thing i got to ask you is how on earth do you get so comfortable? I mean, in five minutes, you were right with the audience. You were making fun with them. Uh, you were so, so relaxed. How you do it? You know, um, I don't know. I don't, <clears throat> I don't plan things when I go out. I know what I'm going to open with, and I know what I'm going to close with. And, and uh, I really am a comfortable guy. See, a lot of people, and I think it's because of the nature of maybe some of the songs that I've, I've recorded, which have been kind of heady material, and the album covers, which always have me. <laughs> yeah, you know, they don't yeah. under, understand that, you know, I've got a sense of humor, and, and uh, I have a lot of fun. And if I did, when I quit having fun doing this, I'll do something else. So I have a good time. The audience was great. I loved them. They seemed like they gave it back. They gave me a lot of energy, so I got to do another show, and uh, I'll be ready. It's going to be terrific. Gary, I wanted to ask you, you do, uh, as you said, a lot of heady material, and it's very emotion-invoking songs. How do you feel when you do a song like The Wind Beneath My Wings? I like that, emotion-invoking. Um, I, uh, well, I love that song, you know. It's, um, I feel like I was put here to do something. I guess we all feel that way. And part of what I feel like I was put here to do is make people think. Not to impose on them my views or thoughts, but make them think. And a lot of the music that I do, really, if you sit back and listen, then it'll make you at least think and wonder and ponder some things that might be uh, important to you. So when I do a song like Wind Beneath My Wings, which can be taken so many different ways. It can be taken as uh, a song about your relationship with uh, your spiritual relationship or with a child or with a parent or with a loved one or with even a friend, someone who's there for support. When I do that, I always think this is a great time to kind of challenge them a little bit. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll make uh, some kind of emotional response, but it'll make them think about somebody they care about and hopefully make them take the time to express that to them, you know. So I, I don't like to get up and be preachy or anything like that. I, that's not my thing. But but a lot of the songs, again, the material is, is designed to, to, to make people be a bit emotional. Maybe um, my own philosophy, here you go, for music, one of three things. It either makes your feet move so you'll get up and dance, you know, or it makes you, it tears at your heart a little bit, or it makes yeah. you think. If it does one of those three things, I think you've created something. If it does two of those things, you've really got something, and so it's almost impossible to do all three. But the problem with a lot of music today, and I guess maybe it's been a problem forever, is that for me, it does none of those three. You know, it's not, it doesn't, uh, it's just there, some of it, and I just try not to, as best I can, not be a part of that, try to do something that's, that, you know, makes me think, maybe. You were up on stage tonight, and I was watching you, and of course you do have a background in theater, which we'll talk about in a couple of minutes. But I could see Gary Morris, the actor, acting out the way the songs made you feel, and bringing it out in the tone of voice, the, the rhythm in which you played your guitar, and uh, you had mentioned up on stage um, about some of the songs that you had written. Now, when you write some of these highly emotion-charged songs, what are you thinking about? Normally, they're, the, a lot of my stuff is a self-portrait. You know, it's like um, a lot of my life is kind of an open book because of it. You know, I'm not real good at conjuring up songs. It's like, oh, let's write one about a little girl and a little boy. And <laughs> I, I try to, I call mainly on my own experiences and or shared experiences with people. But it's interesting you said uh, I was up there uh, acting out those things because my real belief about an actor is somebody who is in the moment exactly then. He is part of what is going on, and that's really the best way to define it. And when I walk on stage, I don't come with some predisposed notion that I'm supposed to be somebody or supposed to do something. It's just like, here's the music, here it is, this is what I do, thank you very much. And as long as I can have that kind of attitude for me personally, then I'll go out and have a great time. And, you know, tonight's was, uh, was special. I'm work we're just working with the guitar, but when I have my band out, it's, it's really wonderful. I mean, they're wonderful players and singers, and I still do stuff alone. And, but when I write them and when I sing them, it's just part of being in the moment. I might be in a bad moment. It might be a some kind of negative emotion that I get out as a writer. I might be in a great moment, and that's what will come out.
Tonight was definitely a great moment. It was beautiful. Now, you had done a little bit uh, in your show tonight. You did uh, the uh, area from La Boheme, a little bit of it. Uh, you also did a prayer that Jean Valjean sang in Les Mis. Um, what's it like for you to get up on stage and do little snatches of that? Uh, obviously, both of those projects took a lot out of you. It took a lot of you. Uh, to be so successful at them, and they are both critically acclaimed. Everybody's thinking, when's the country singer going to do another opera? You know, what was that like for you? Oh, what is it like nightly? It's great to be able, it puts me back in that for a second. I mean, they they offered me the road in Los Angeles, and I turned it down with Valjean, and, and it's coming back to Nashville, and I might do it in Nashville. But, um, uh, it, it's really, it's, it kind of sets me back there. I mean, I do the little thing from La Boheme, and I can almost see Linda. It was Mimi, you know, I mean, right there in my arms. And, and certainly the prayer from, from uh, Les Miserables uh, was the big song of the show. And it was, uh, it takes me to that moment when people come to their feet, you know. And, it, and, and so it's, it, it, it just is energizing. To do it gives me back something so I can go on. Without those things, without those moments that really bring something back to me, I'm over, you know. Because I can't go out and just sing. Like, I got to give something and get something or I'm not any good. You know, I'm not going to just go out there and sing. It's not what I'm not going to do. There are other people that were made to do that, and that's great. I mean, I'm not knocking that at all, but that's not what I'm made to do. It seems to me, you know, that you're a communicator in the finest sense of the word. I mean, in everything you do, you give, you take. And uh, communication, of course, is one of those big things. You've been in TV, you've been on the Colbys. Uh, and a couple of others, Another World with Crystal Gale. You did that hit song. You made a couple of appearances on that show, am I right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you did the operas that we just talked about. What are the chances of um, them making a movie out of Les Miserables? I is that a possibility? And if it is, would you be interested in the lead? Yeah, well, they're talking about doing uh, Les Mis as a movie and Meryl, St Meryl Streep playing Fontaine, I think. No, 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 they're not talking about Les Mis yet. Well, they're talking about Les Mis. They're also talk talking about Evita, both of those making movies. And I'd be interested in doing uh, Les Mis. I'd be interested in doing uh, Evita, the role of, of Che in that. But um, right now I've got a new album, Stones, and I'm, doing, I'm touring. I'll be doing that and going out nightly and doing my stuff. Gary, thanks so much for uh, spending some time with us tonight. I really enjoyed your show, and I would advise all of our... TV viewers out here tonight that if Gary Morris is in the area, you're going to want to see him. Thanks, Karen. Appreciate it. Right now, we hope you enjoy Gary Morris and his video, Second Hand Heart, on Hit Country Videos. There's so many people out in the world just like Open to hear a few simple words to believe. And one honest touch is more than enough for someone with no one to love. Though I'm afraid.
someone belongs in my dream. I've got 